Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla unlocks supercharger network to non-Tesla EVs in a new region. Tesla Model Y price cuts have brought costs below US average. Tesla publishes astonishing FSD safety statistics. And, Tesla gives update on battery degradation, only 12% after 200,000 miles. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla opened its supercharger network to non-Tesla EVs in China recently. Today, Tesla's pilot open supercharger network in mainland China is officially opened. We're giving electric car owners a better charging experience and continuing to promote the charging technology and services. A better era of travel is accelerating, Tesla China's Weibo account stated. Tesla China's infographic also tied the open supercharger network back to master plan part 3. It noted that opening the supercharger network would provide more non-Tesla EVs with a better charging experience and would help accelerate new energy vehicle adoption in China. Tesla is slowly launching the open supercharger network, starting with 10 stations in Beijing and Shanghai to accommodate about 37 non-Tesla electric vehicles. Tesla also plans to open 120 destination charging stations, covering 25 provinces and municipalities, to non-Tesla EVs in China. Tesla China invited non-Tesla EV owners to download the Tesla app version 4.20.69 or later to use the supercharger network. It provided a short and clear tutorial video instructing non-Tesla EVs on the charger process at open superchargers. With the supercharger network, Tesla China promises 100% charging coverage to electric vehicles. Tesla opened 1,600 supercharger stations in China, with over 10,000 charging stalls. It also deployed 700 destination charging stations, with more than 2,000 supercharger piles. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y price cuts have brought costs below US average. Tesla's most recent round of price cuts to the Model Y have brought the vehicle's introductory trim level to a starting price below that of the average new car or truck in the United States. Last week, Tesla initiated its fifth price cut to the Model Y, offering discounts on all three currently offered configurations of the all-electric crossover. Its entry-level trim, the Model Y all-wheel drive, now costs $46,990 before federal incentives or localized discounts that vary depending on the state. Even without the rebates, the Model Y all-wheel drive has undercut the starting price of the average car or truck in the United States, data from Bloomberg shows. Data from March 2023 put the average transaction price for a new car or truck in the U.S. at $47,749, $759 more than the cost of the introductory Model Y. It's a major win for Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk, who have worked hard to dispel the perception of electric vehicles and their affordability. While Tesla does not offer the most affordable and cheapest EVs on the market, the automaker does offer a combination of affordability and world-class tech, which leads the industry and has since the overwhelming adoption of EVs through the past few years. The long-standing notion that EVs are for the ultra-wealthy and rich is long gone. Over 750,000 EVs were bought by Americans last year, and 5.7% of automotive sales were electric, up from 3.2% in 2021. Tesla led sales figures by an overwhelming margin, and the Model Y, despite not being as affordable as the Model 3, has been the company's most popular vehicle. Even still, the discounted prices of the Model Y and Model 3 have kept analysts at bay in terms of Tesla's financial outlook. Wedbush analyst Dan Ives said, the price cuts are keeping investors up at night as margins have come into focus. Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley said in a note earlier this year that EV price cuts are not a fad but a trend and that Tesla would set the tone for the market moving forward. And they have. Competitors in all markets have been forced to respond to Tesla's pricing adjustments to keep themselves in the EV conversation. Ford, for example, cut prices on the Mustang Mach-E 
after Tesla threw discounts out earlier this year. Meanwhile, other automakers refused to respond in the form of monetary adjustment. Moving to the next update, Tesla publishes astonishing FSD safety statistics. Tesla has published a new report detailing just how safe full self-driving is making the driving experience of its customers. Critics of Tesla's FSD autonomous driving software have one common criticism, the system isn't safe enough. Often, this argument is paired with a citation of the US. NHTSA, which is currently investigating 40 collisions involving Tesla's autonomous system. Now, the automaker has published the best rebuke to this criticism yet, reporting new data showing that FSD is almost five times safer than the average American behind the wheel. Tesla's FSD safety findings were reported as part of the company's 2022 impact report, which among other things, reports the company's effect on the environment and the world, more generally annually. According to this report, the average Tesla equipped with FSD beta, driven on predominantly non-highway sections of road, crashes 0.31 times per million miles, a dramatic decrease from the average American, who crashes 1.53 times every million miles. Perhaps even more surprising, the incredible effects of Tesla's autonomous offerings on safety are felt throughout the company's lineup. According to Tesla's data, drivers who use the Tesla autopilot system predominantly on highways only crash 0.18 times per million miles. Further, even Tesla drivers who choose to employ neither of the autonomous systems only crash 0.68 times per million miles, which is still a reduction of more than half compared to the national average. An explanation of these incredible results, besides pointing to its excellent software offerings, Tesla notes that its safety score system also incentivizes drivers to drive more safely. Tesla backs up this claim by stating that those with higher safety scores are substantially less likely to get into an accident than their less safe counterparts. Tesla's autonomous systems don't just stop at saving the lives of drivers and occupants, but also those outside of the vehicle as well. Tesla included data from top safety testing agencies worldwide, noting that the company's pedestrian avoidance systems, pedestrian crash safety, and emergency braking systems all rank within the highest scores possible. The final point in Tesla's safety report focuses on more physical vehicle safety, specifically crash test safety standards. When a Tesla does get into a crash, the company reports that every single model it sells meets the highest level of safety, according to Euro NCAP and NCAP in Europe, as well as IAS in the United States. Moving to the last update, Tesla gives update on battery degradation, only 12% after 200,000 miles. Tesla has released a rare update on the battery degradation in its electric cars. The automaker claims its batteries only lose about 12% of capacity after 200,000 miles. Battery degradation, which represents the loss in capacity and range over time, with increasing mileage, is one of the biggest concerns of new electric vehicle buyers. It's also an essential part of the equation to make electric cars more sustainable. The longer a battery pack can be in operation, the longer it will keep itself from being scrapped for recycling, and the longer it can keep the whole car in operation. Tesla has rarely released data on that front, but it has done so as part of its annual impact report, since it is pertinent to calculating the environmental impact of its electric vehicles. Tesla released its 2022 impact report, and the automaker updated its battery degradation data, now reporting 12% battery degradation after 200,000 miles. The results are similar, although slightly worse than in its previous impact report. Tesla is also only referring to Model S and Model X battery degradation, presumably because it has more long-term data on those vehicles. Interestingly, the automaker says that it will start disclosing other datasets for new battery chemistries used in more recent vehicles. The degradation can change significantly depending on the vehicle model and battery pack. Electrek previously obtained detailed data from thousands of Tesla vehicles showing that Tesla's 90 kWh pack would lose battery capacity much faster than the 85 kWh pack. 
Early data from newer Model 3 and Model Y vehicles also show strong capacity retention of less than 10% after 100,000 miles and less than 15% after 200,000 miles, but not many vehicles have reached those mileages just yet. Either way, the data shows that the average battery capacity retention stays well within Tesla's guaranteed capacity in its vehicle warranty. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.